Hey, hey Laura here from God's Star Work. Today I am doing another collab with the Three Continents One palette, which is Angie from 4F Beauty and Lifestyle and Nona from My So Called Life. And today we are doing the ColourPop Mint to Be palette. And, and I haven't got this palette, so um, we're doing Angie and Nona will do the actual palette and I will do dupe out of whatever I can find in my collection. And Angie very kindly sent me some photos with some swatches so that I could dupe out the palette. So that's what we're working with. I'm trying to get it around the ring light so you can actually see. And um, I wasn't able to put it all together in one palette because some of the things were like, highlighter <laughs> so um these were the only ones in singles i could actually put in a magnetic and the rest will be in palette so i'll swatch it on my arm and tell you which ones they are so the first one was called get fresh in the palette and for that one i have used this color here which is looking fresh matte from ColourPop. And you might have seen that one because it's a fairly pale colour on my pale wrist. And then the next colour was called Pink Tea. And for that one I used the Classy Cake King Triton Highlighter. Because it looked like the right shade. So that's what that one looks like. So that's a shimmer. Can you see that? Do you remember to watch this way so you can actually see the colors <laughs> and then the next one is called play it cool which is another shimmer and this time I've used the essence mint muse color this is a um, I think it's called hollow halo well, it's another shimmer but it was lighter less minty than the other one from what I could tell and in the next row there was salsa which I had to go to my revolution ice palette for and this was one I couldn't take out and I used crystal which is this color here so it's a matte it's blue and a little bit darker than that first mat. So that one there. And then I went into the Daydream palette for Makeup Obsessions, which is from Makeup Revolution as well. And I was it? No, hang on. That's wrong. This was from I think it was still hang on. <laughs> I'm going to have to go look that up. And so it was from Makeup Obsessions. It was the Ready Daydream palette, which is a Makeup Revolution one. So um, I got two colours out of here, I think. One colour out of here? No, one colour out of here. Two colours out of here. <laughs> so I got two colours out of here, which is the two that are missing. Um, and I like these kind of palettes that you can take the things out and they're magnetic and then you can put them back in them, which is why I like the ColourPop ones too because then I can do this kind of thing and mix them all up so um <laughs> so let's get back to actually swatching so this one was called Pixie from that Daydream palette and this is it's similar to this one but it's um it's a bit warmer green and not as sparkly. And the next one was called Demons. So I got this one out of the Revolution Avocado palette. It's a little bit grubby. I really like this palette. And I used guacamole. And I had to mix it with lime because I didn't quite, I couldn't quite get the right colour for what I wanted. It was nearly there, but not quite. So I just mixed the two colours to get what I needed. 
So that's what we ended up with. And I really like that colour mixed. And then the next row was the other one out of Daydream palette. So this is a nymph. This is another matte. And this one is like a dark teal, or a medium teal really, it's not a really dark one, but yeah. And then the next one was called Fresh Man, and I got that one out of the avocado palette, and I used Bite, which was this one here, was this chunky shimmery one. what bite look like. I'm wearing the mint top because this is actually the only thing I have in my wardrobe the right colour to go with this look. <laughs> and then the last one is called Chill Factor and I got this out of the avocado palette as well. But I had to mix it. The Chi Chi one from Timeless Beauty and which that palette looks like like this. One. And I had to mix that with half because I didn't quite have the right shade of green. So I'm going to mix those two together. And this is the darkest colour in the palette. So um, the Chi Chi one on its own just wasn't quite green enough. It was a bit too grey. So that's why I mixed in half with it to get it more like the shade that I wanted. So that's what that looks like. And there is my palette, all swatched out. Now, so I said to them, okay, I've duped the palette. Um, are we going to do a challenge this week? And Nona said, let's use every colour in the palette on our eyes. Okay. Okay. Um, what am I going to do with all those colours on my eyes? So that's what we're doing. Thanks, Nona. <laughs> but I do love a challenge. So, let's have a think, and we will start. So there's kind of a mix of your more aqua kind of shades, and your more minty kind of shades. So, I'm thinking I might do kind of minty on the top, and a more aqua blue on the bottom. And, sorry, people have been noisy. Um, and I'm thinking that we may end up doing a very similar looks. So it'll be interesting to see how all our thinking works. So I've got my list of where the colours are since I can't actually put them all in one palette. So what am I going to start with? Let's see. So I've primed my eyes and I've done my eyebrows. I'm going to start off with this colour here which would be Get Fresh in the palette, which is my colour pop one. Oh, I need my mirror so I can actually see where I'm going. And I'm just going to do the top here, so I'm kind of like setting the top, but I'm doing it as a mint colour. I didn't buy this palette because when I looked at it I thought, how often would I use those minty colours? If it was a palette full of these kind of greens more than the aqua ones, I may have considered it because I like this kind of green better than the aqua colours, even though the shirt I'm wearing is more aqua than mint. And I've got quite a few of those kind of aqua colours in various palettes, because like even the avocado palette, which you'd think it would have lots of that minty colour, it's still got quite a few of those kind of aqua colours in. The blue palette's got quite a few of those aqua colours in. So um, I kind of feel like I have enough aqua colours to do any kind of aqua look I want. But I do really love the more greeny, mossy, minty kind of palettes. And then It's quite hard when you haven't got the palette in front of you 
because I've got a, well, I'll just look at the swatches. That's why I did the swatches. I've got the swatches. So. Um, I think I want to go into this one here. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six. So, Dement would have been, which was guacamole and lime mixed together. So, let's see what I can do. I love that colour. Maybe I should just get it so I can have that colour. <laughs> the palette, I mean. Do you ever do that? Do you ever just buy a palette for one colour? I don't. <laughs> but sometimes it's tempting if it's not a very expensive palette and you can take the colours out easily, but it's not something that I normally do. Depends on the mood at the time. When I'm actually ordering stuff, I'm, I don't, I try not to order stuff when I'm in a, I just want all the makeup mood because that's dangerous. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to go into the darkest colour, which was the very last one in the palette, this one here, which is another mix. So I'm going to go into half in my TT Timeless one. I may have said this before, but I can't remember. When you're mixing a dark colour and a light colour, if you want it to go a bit lighter, then start off with the light colour and then put a bit of the dark colour in. If you want it more dark, go into the dark colour and then put a bit of a light colour on because that's just how it works with colour mixing. And because I'm mixing the colour, I have to adjust for each eye because every time I dip my brush in, I'm going to get a slightly different mix so it's not going to be the same every time. I have to just keep adjusting to make sure that both sides are even. All the same colour. And also I need to go higher on this side because this one isn't showing, isn't showing as much up here. And then I'm going to go back into what would have been Dement, which I had just used. So I'll mix guacamole and lime again. And just buff that out. So when I do this colour, I go into the lime colour first, and then the glycolol. Get that colour that I want. And then I'm going to go back into the very first colour, which was the, what would have been in the palette get fresh. Dandy, lots of dandy. That's what I was trying to do, I think. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm doing thinking process at the same time as I'm trying to talk and do my own. So I'm going to go into. I'm going to start off with this one, which is one, two, three, four, five, which was the Hito Mini, which is my pixie. One from the Ready Daydream palette. Now, because the colour that I'm using next, the what would be mint tea, is actually a highlighter, I'm going to go all the way across with this tea, so it's got a bit of a base to it. I'm also going to use a little bit of glitter glue just because it's a highlighter and not an actual shadow. And then I'm going to go into the Classy Cake King Triton Highlighter. So this would be the mint tea. And I'm going to pick it up in my brush. never used this particular one as an eyeshadow before. I've used it as in a corner, it's in, and I've used it as a highlighter, but I haven't just used it as an eyeshadow before. Right. And then I'm going to go back into 
this one here, which would be, you know, I'm just going to blend out the edges. I've got a ton of fallout on my face from that highlighter because I was really picking it on. <laughs> yeah, it's buckly here. I'm trying to decide if I want to put something in that outer corner or not. I think I will leave that for now and I might come back to it. So, the next thing I want to do is I want some bluey pencil. Do you put the shadows on to stick to you? Yeah. And to emphasize the more bluey, tealy look to it. And I'm going to use a little smudging brush and smudge that out. And then I want to go in with. I'm going to go into this color first, which is. would be ice cold, which I got from. The Daydream palette, which is called Nymph in my palette. And I want to put that on that outer corner. This was the colour that I was wondering if I wanted to put in there. Just put a tiny bit in just to get an idea of what it would look like. And then to go in with this colour here, which would be Freshman. And that was in my avocado palette. And it's called Bite. It's quite a chunky shade, so hopefully it'll stick. <laughs> Definitely ending up with it in my eye. I just went back into that darker shade just to blend it out a bit. And then I think that means I've only got one colour to go and it's... Oh, hang on. Did I use that one? I don't know if I did. One, two, three, four. Four. No, I didn't use that one. Oh, bother. Okay. Alright. <laughs> so that was in my Revelation palette. That was Sulfur. And crystal in this ice palette and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner first yeah that works I've got enough to show because I'm gonna put that some shimmer on the very inner corner and then that leaves me with this color here which was play it cool in the actual palette and this is my essence one and I'm going to put that on the very inner corner. It's not very sparkly that one, is it? I might see what happens if I spray it. So I've picked it on my brush. But it doesn't seem to be doing very much. Did it? That's not so far. So I've used every colour in the actual palette and now I'm going to do some liner and I'm using the NYX Holographic Hollow or Halo in Killing It which is this colour here and I want to, it's starting to dry out a little bit so I put some of my duo line in and I'm going to try and do some liner Just using a real techniques brush, the fine liner brush. And I have tight lines, so I'll put some black on the tight line. Okay, I'll go in with this colour 
again and I'm just going to draw a little line where the wing is just to emphasize the little wing bit a little bit I want some brow bone highlight I think right um, I'm going to go back into the essence one which would have been play it cool in the actual palette I think I want to go back in to the mix of guacamole and lime and just kind of join up that little bit there I'm gonna go back into the darkest color this one here uh, which was half and the TT one Actually, I think I want a smaller brush. And a little tiny one. Oh, I'm just put that in the wrong colour. <laughs> the crease, but I don't want it to go too high. Yeah, so I'm going to clean up some of this fallout and do the rest of my face. I like there was one more thing I was going to do and that was I'm going to use my Colourpop pencil in France and I'm going to put that in my waterline. Just to emphasise the difference between the green and the more aqua blue colour. So I have been following Nona and Angie for quite a while now and we've done quite a few of these um, three continents, one palette and sometimes a dupe <laughs> videos. And so if you would like to see some more ideas to use with, with the different nine pan palettes from Colourpop, then I have a playlist with all the different ones that we've done that I will link in the description box so you can go and find some different looks to do with different palettes and some of them have challenges and some of them don't and both Angie and Nona are wonderful people to watch they're a lot of fun and we're all very different as well but we all are friends even though we haven't actually met in person because we live on three different continents because Nona is in America and Angie is in England and I am in New Zealand so we're very far apart but I feel like YouTube and doing makeup videos has brought us all together and um, made us friends through a common interest of makeup and colour and wanting to connect with people and I think the small YouTuber community in the makeup world is a wonderful community. They um, are very, they're all very supportive and very um, friendly and I really enjoy it. I I'm feel extremely lucky to have met the people I have through here because they're all so amazing and I really, really enjoy interacting with them. And I think over the last couple of years where um, life has been kind of stressful in my world, um, people like Nona and Angie have been a lifeline for me. Been, been there to talk to, been there to share with and been there to have fun with. So I cannot thank both of you enough for your wonderful friendship and your wonderful support. And I enjoy both of you so much. And I, I wanted to sort of talk about something different this time than all the other times. Because normally I just tell you all about Nona's and Angie's channels. And they are definitely worth checking out and seeing. But I also wanted to say a big thank you to Nona and Angie for just being there, being friends I love you both to bits and um, if anyone out there is thinking of starting 
a YouTube channel for makeup or anything else really don't be scared off by the big YouTubers and all the drama that happens and things because you connect with the right people in this makeup world there is no drama it's just support and friendship and love for each other and I I just think that is great and it's been a real lifeline for me so if you're thinking about starting then just start and reach out to small youtubers like myself and angie and nona because we're the ones who will support you back and will be your friends and that's we're not into support for support we're in in it to make friends to make connections with people and that's the whole point really so to share and to make connections with people whether they're another youtuber or whether they're not it doesn't matter we want to make connections we want to um, hear you in the comments and talk to you and and be friends so if you've ever thought about commenting on a video and you haven't done it because you think oh, yeah, they, they won't really care what I say the small youtubers do care what you say we we do read all the comments and we answer you and we we want to connect with you so please go and check out Nona and Angie and I will put all their links down in the description box so you can find them easily and I will also um, put down the playlist for all the videos we've done on this Colourpop 9 pan palette so far there's quite a few of them and it'll give you lots of good ideas of things to do with those palettes and I love this series I love playing with color and I love playing with my makeup and I don't mind duping palettes either if I don't have the palette then it's quite fun to go through and dupe palette because then I get to use makeup that I already own <laughs> so I think that's all I have to say let's go and see the final look and here is my final look using oh, so I've wiped off some of the swatches but if you can still see them <laughs> using every color in my tube of the mint to be palette from Colourpop. So let's try that again. I got interrupted by a phone call with somebody wanting to sell me something to do with my website. We get I get so much junk mail and stuff for that. It's like spend some money and we'll make you more popular. <laughs> anyway, to here is my final look using all nine colours in the meant to be palette um, my swatches have faded a bit because they are all over my clothes <laughs> not my trousers now <laughs> and um, here is my look so I hope you enjoyed that I hope it encourages you to if you've got the meant to be palette to get that out and have a play with it or if you haven't just and, and you sort of think, oh, it'd be nice to do some minty kind of colours. Just get your collection out and have a play with all the colours that look like minty ones. Or if you have no idea which ones to use, see if you can drip the Colourpop palette and then try some looks. Because it's fun. <laughs> so please go and check out the beautiful Nona and Angie. And tell them that you came from my channel if you haven't been there before. But quite frankly... If you've been following me for any length of time, you would have heard of them lots because I um, connect with them regularly and talk about them regularly on my channel. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.